Hi, my name is Rodney McKenzie, and you're watching more live video blog, video blog, video blog, video blog. I'm telling you, I'm getting high techer by the minute. Uh, anyways, I'm here today to talk to you about more life. And one of the things I've been thinking about is the questions that I keep asking myself. You know, the questions that keep going on in your head over and over and over and over again. You know, those questions where you wake up at the middle of the night and you're like, damn, I got a question. Um, but it's the questions that I keep thinking about, the questions that really touch my heart, the questions that I think all of us are thinking about. And today, I want to explore one of them, and it's about who's going to save me. When I was a kid, I used to love watching movies, and the movies I loved were always the movies where there was someone in trouble. There's some situation where someone needed help, and someone came in and saved them. I love those movies. I, I love the Superman, Superwoman, Wonder Woman kind of shows. You know, the kind of shows where at the end, you knew that everything was okay because someone, not that person, but someone else came in and helped that person and saved the day. And it's funny, in my life, what I've discovered is that I have been looking for someone to save me. I mean, over and over again in relationships or in jobs or with my family or with my finances, I was always hoping for someone. Sometimes I thought it was Wonder Woman, but other times I called it God. I was hoping for God or Jesus or Buddha or someone to come in and save the day. I was hoping for someone to give me what I wasn't willing to give myself, but, but someone to give it to me. I was hoping for something, someone, some person, call it Wonder Woman, call it Lao Tzu, call it whoever you desire. I was waiting for someone to come in and save me from myself. And I guess the question is, who will save me? I mean, will you save me? I mean, will you save me from the things that I keep doing? Will you save me for me? And I think, and what I'm discovering is that actually that you can't save me, that no one can save me, that the miracle is actually not you saving me, but the miracle is me understanding that I am the savior, that I am the man who will save himself. You know, Peter in the book of Acts said something that, that I never understood and I think many of us never understood when he stood up and said, save yourselves from this untoward generation. What does that mean? For me, it means that I must take responsibility for my own life and do something insane, which is say yes to me. See, I am the Savior. I don't have to get up on a cross to save me, but I can situate myself in my life and say, now is the time to live. I mean, now is the time to take ownership of what I desire, what I want, who I want to be. And see, there's things in my life that I am choosing to be responsible for. You know, those things in my life that I've decided, you know, brother, I've been talking about doing this for a long time. I think it's now time to do it. Because I see that no one will come into my life and push me and make me do the things I desire to do. Only I can do that. No one in my life can make me write my book. Only I can do it. See, no one will save you from you. Only you. Today in this moment, today in our lives, what if we try to do something crazy? Anytime that we feel like we need to be saved, what would happen if we wrap our arms around ourselves and say, yes, I will do it? When you have a feeling that, dang, I should lose weight. I wish someone would teach me how to lose weight. What if you hold yourself and say, yes, I will do it for me? When you're at work and you're feeling like you're about to go crazy and you're hoping that someone will save you from your job. What would happen if you wrapped your arms around yourself and said, yes, I will do it, and then take a breath and listen for the answer. Listen for what you calls you to do. Today, I'm choosing to recognize and believe that I am a savior of myself, that I am the only one who will save me, and I'm joyful 
for this experience where I can love and save myself. All right, y'all. Have a good day. Peace.